Hello, my friends, and welcome back to City Skylines 2, and welcome back to Circle City. Man, the weather's beautiful in Circle City. Sunny day? Is it actually day? Yeah, it is. <laughs> what were we doing last time in Circle City? Oh, look. That thing that I prophesized would go wrong has gone wrong. Okay, let's fix this. This doesn't need to be this big of a disaster. We can move this disaster further along. Actually, there might be a way to do this that isn't a disaster. Let me just see. Let's get rid of that. I want to go back underground. Very early to be just quickly jumping in and fixing something like this, I think. But I think we can make this work. Oh no, what do you mean overlapping? Obviously, it has to overlap. What is wrong with you? Of course it overlaps. I want you to connect to it. Oh wait, maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's not coming up. There we go. <laughs> I'm the problem? It's me. There we go. Fixed. Hopefully. We'll see. Now there is a little issue here where this turns into a four to two lane choke point. Why does it do that? Why does it do that? And then goes back to being a three lane highway? Maybe it can just go from four to three here? I wonder if there's a reason why I did this that I've forgotten since doing it. Oh, maybe it can't be? What if we turn on anarchy? Yeah, we're breaking the law making this happen, but I feel like this was a mistake anyway. All right, some houses being rezoned. Uh, there might be a pillar that intersects. No, it looks fine to me. Yeah, I don't know. But hopefully that fixes this little cursed area where it all merges down. Now we only lose one lane. Oh, look. This is still a problem. Although, this is a good area where we can say four lanes merge down to two. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see how this plays out. Oh no, I hate the trumpet. What else could we be doing in Circle City? Let me see, we added lights to the park. That was cool. There's still people hovering. Maybe I need to demolish the area that was created. Is it a net lane? No, it's not a net lane. How did we do that? It's in here, isn't it? Spaces and areas. And then, yeah, let's start deleting. Oh man, it's going to be hard to find the corners of this. There we go. There's one. There's one. There's one. Because it's not a real area, I can't just delete it with the bulldozer, can I? No, it's not real. Oh, remove surfaces and spaces. Spaces filter. I can do it. Okay, so we're going to delete that as a space. So this is no longer a park. Let's wait and see if that does something about the hovering people. It could be like whenever you get rid of a road and everybody has to snap to where the new road is. And it looks like that is what's happening. Everybody is aligning themselves to existing paths. Except for here. Oh wait, are you the last of these? No, nope. there are other hoverers. Hover. Hoverers. Why though? Is there something underground there? No. Okay, so there's still something happening here. Is there an invisible path that I can't see? No. What mystery. What a mystery this is. But we have stopped people from hovering over the lake. That's something. I do still want this to be a giant park. An area for your citizens to walk around in. I don't think we want that. I think we want this to be classified as a park. Maybe it's just too big. And that's why we get the hover people. Oh, this is actually... Didn't go to the road. Went to the walking path. That's my bad. Oh, this is a straight line. <laughs> we can just go. It's not a part of the circular part of Circle City here. Alright, so we go up to that corner. And if people start floating again after doing this, then so be it. I guess that's just... Maybe that's just the mystical power of this lake. Now we play the waiting game. No, look, almost immediately. Oh no, this is the same spot. Uh, this is, sorry, this isn't the people hovering. This is just the weird people cutting corners dish. Although it's not really cutting a corner. I don't know what they're doing. But nobody's hovering. Nobody's floating across the lake. And if anything, this is, people are sticking to the path and having a good time. Everybody's going home. Nobody wants to be in this park. Is anybody in the park just because they want to be in the park? I don't think so. Yeah, I wish I knew what caused this. But it's less busted than it was before. I might even be able to bring this land up so that it doesn't look as awkward. I 
Maybe there's something that we can put there. Markers and object prefabs. No, I want like park things. <laughs> what are they? What am I looking for here? Not characters. Is it characters? People. Animals? No. No, it's not characters. Props. Decorations? Park. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna put a fountain in here. Maybe that's why people are walking around it. Or a gazebo. See what other park-related props we have. Yeah, I don't think I want to use any of these. If, if anything... Oh, maybe some boulders? We could, the thing is, people's paths keep changing. Are they changing because I'm hovering a boulder in the air, or are they changing for some other reason? Can't really tell. Do I want to put in a gazebo? I don't think I do, because everybody's path is so random. You know what? We're just going to leave it. Nobody's walking over the lake. That's good enough for me. I'll call that a win. And... Look, the park doesn't look spooky, so I'll call that a win, too. All right, what can we do now? Let's get back to growing this city, although it seems to be doing a pretty good job of growing on its own without us even doing anything new, possibly because, yeah, there's unoccupied buildings everywhere, and they're just slowly filling in, and we're just watching and waiting, and it's just happening. Yeah, healthcare looks good. Garbage processing is good. We don't even have to keep anything in landfills. We just massively process it. Education, colleges and universities. Yeah, we need a medical university. Now, where do we put this? So that is a college, I think. So if we were to put in a medical university right there. Oh, the pharma has been unlocked. That's good news. I do want to give this all of the upgrades. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What is that even? A practice clinic. And what is this? Research facilities. You know what? We'll stack a few of these in there for fun. Why not? Just make it look busy. This always happens, by the way. There's no pedestrian access whenever you upgrade this with that wing. It just does that. I don't know why. Anyway, has that helped our education numbers? Is it not going to bring up the UI for it? Uh, yeah, now we just need more colleges. This is a college, right? Yes, it's an upgraded college. Which means that we should probably put another one somewhere that we don't have any yet. It's tough because we've crammed schools everywhere in this city. How about right there? Of course, I'm working at night so I can't even see what I'm doing. Alright, everything's green. We have capacity for students again. Good. Average fire hazard. 18%. That feels too high. Let's turn back on the sun. Gosh, that's bright. I just want to see... Turn off those... So where do we have buildings that are red? We have some yellow buildings here. This might mean good opportunity for us to put in a firehouse. Deal with some of that yellowness over here. Seems pretty dire. Might even want a full-on fire station. This is an industrial area. So it might not even hurt. In fact, can we give this upgrades to make this do better? I'd love to get the average fire hazard down below maybe 10%. Why is this all yellow? All right, we'll put one in here. Why is this red? This is actually a fire station. Fire station is at great risk of fire. Oh, we can turn that off. There we go. That's just the color that they were assigned. Yeah, I don't know. 15%? Is that okay? Is that good? The city is mostly green. It's hard to imagine it being any better. So we'll put one there. What about crime? Average crime probability, 1%. Fine. Current number of criminals, 1,500. That's fine. It's less than 1%. Yes, it does say 1%, doesn't it? Crime success rate's pretty high. I wonder why. Let's see. Crime probability. All these buildings are green, so it must be low. Nah, here we go. Now we could start thinking about trams. I don't know if we want to do trams. Buses, we already have six bus lines. It does handle 21 or 23,000 passengers a month. So maybe, maybe we can make something work here. Maybe we just start creating some really weird bus routes. I'm just going to put down a few bus stops. If we don't end up assigning a bus to it, not the end of the world. Don't worry about it. It might happen.
I don't know what happens, though, if you have a bus stop that nobody can access or that isn't assigned to a bus route. I might even purposely, not purposely, but uh, I might inadvertently set up routes where buses have to make weird U-turns. And I don't care. <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think it, I don't think I care. But we'll see. A lot of bus stops going in. Some of them possibly will never be used. Alright, let's create a route. Oh, that's crazy. Why is it doing that? It has to take the whole highway. Tunnels. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it can come here. I don't like the U-turn. That I'm fine with. Oh, you know what? This might actually be an okay route. A lot of these stops are already utilized for another route, though. Where does this terrible route begin? Alright, this route has a U-turn in it. So be it. New route. Let's see what we can <laughs> let's see what we can make happen here. Oh, new route. Is it good? I would say unlikely. That is unlikely to be a good route. At that point, I couldn't even I can't even see that route. It blends in with the road so much. It's just this awful brown. Oh look at this. This route gets used a lot, this purple one. Could probably have more buses. Sure, we'll fill that one up. Where does this line go actually though? follow it. Let's ride it. I'll admit, this trip has been uneventful and <laughs> slow, 
and stuck. I don't know where we are in the city right now. We're not in the center, but the traffic is awful. Oh, now that we're through that intersection, it's not so bad. Oh, we're on the highway. Close to downtown now. Alright, we'll just go through that garbage truck. And we're gonna go downtown. Look at this. Yeah, I think the traffic lights are out of sync. Because of the split phasing, perhaps. I don't really understand. If that's the case, though, speed this up until we go. Okay, this bus definitely goes downtown. This road's in rough shape. even making any stops. I feel like we haven't picked or dropped off anybody. Oh, here we go. I can't see. I don't know how many people got on. I couldn't see. I've ruined it. You know what? I've had enough of riding that bus. Let's just assume that it does good. We might have put too many buses on that line, though. Let's knock that down to 20. Oh, there's a fire. Never mind. <laughs> Everything's fine. Frame right here is pretty bad. Simulation seems to be okay, though. I haven't been doing much building because I feel like there's still so many buildings here that need to be filled in before we do anything. Look, unoccupied buildings is one of the reasons why nobody wants to move in. Commercial's full. Industrial unoccupied buildings, office unoccupied buildings. Let's do city promotion, pre-release programs. Let's crank up the speed of the highways, do more pollution management, why not? We'll do a little bit of everything. Actually, I wonder if high-speed highways is going to have a m measurable impact, good or bad. Look, we already have an accident. Wonderful. It's a delivery van carrying 2.35 tons of food. Oh, he's fine now. He got better. Alright, thank you. There's a fire. Good news. It's on the edge of the pro it's on the edge of the world, even. I like that's not fair. You can't just spawn a fire out here in the middle of nowhere and tell me I have to deal with it. Figure that one out. Very rude. I feel like these areas here we should fill in with some little roads. I just don't know if I want to do like keys? Do we want to bring the waterfront up to the road? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know how that's going to look. Let's give it a shot. We'll move this. Oh, I don't want to delete it. Let's pick it up and put it on the other side of the street. <laughs> These houses are going to disappear. Or not. Never mind. I lied when I said that those houses are going to disappear. They will be preserved for now. We'll see what happens. I don't know how I feel about this yet. That watchtower has been preserved. 
It will be moved. <laughs> it shouldn't be there. A little bit of minor flooding. You know what? I don't want these houses here. Go away, houses. In fact, go away faster. Wait a minute. Got some weird version of the bulldozer. There we go. Do I like that, though? It seems weird. Maybe it'll look good once we fill it in. And a waterfront home. Sure, why not? Why not? Feels a little bit out of place that we've smoothed out, flattened. I don't know what the word is. Keyified. We keyified this little area. Now we're still making billions. We're making millions, but we've saved billions. We reduced the service fee and now we're making money on... Or we're still making money on electricity, I guess is the truth. The true way to describe that. How's our job market looking? Oh, we actually have unemployment. Can I see who is unemployed? Workforce? What does under mean in this instance? Is that how many people are unemployed? No, this is unemployed. I don't know what under means. Under, outside, homeless. Looks like the unemployment is mostly in the uneducated sector, but that's also... There's not enough people there. Man, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I don't understand how a lot of this stuff works. Where's the industry? almost don't even want to put in more because then it just gets... busy. Too many trucks. I think commercial. Commercial is where the important demand is here. So let's look around and see where we can put some. Now we could fill this area in. Do we fill this in with just a little walking path? A little pedestrian area maybe? We use the full size pedestrian streets? We haven't done that in a while. Why does it want to build a bridge? And we never unlocked Pharma. Where does this go? Right there. Beautiful. Now where was I building? Because now I'm lost. I've lost track of where I was. Oops. I know I just put in a bunch of roads and now there's no buildings around them yet. I've lost it. I've completely lost it. It wasn't even something that looks nice. There it is. <laughs> That's how you find it. What was I looking for? Oh yeah, something hideous. Let's get more NA row houses. Actually, we still need those low-density waterfronts, but we do need the row houses, too. Oh, that's... Yeah, we've done that again. We've built that fun bridge. Go away, fire and rescue. You know what? That's actually dense enough there. We can just plug these guys in. We need NA row houses, right? No, we need... Yes. Yeah, no, everything I've said is true. No, oh, great. Everybody's complaining about their rent already. You just got here. High rent. The building isn't even built yet. High rent. Please. Where else could we fit some population? Out here in the farmlands? You know what? I want to do a little walking area. A little walking pedestrian community. Can you get rid of that overlay, please. There we go. Oh, I think I can't fit this in here. Hopefully that will fill up with cars since they can't park anywhere else in these row houses. We're at about 150,000 here. How many live downtown? 38,000. That's fine. That's perfect. Blackbird View. Another 10,000 there. Beachwood Crest. It's going to be low. Actually, 16,000 people? Why? It doesn't include... Oh, there's a couple high-density buildings, but there's only a couple hundred people living in them. Yeah, I guess... All this housing here around whatever. Nobody's moved in yet, though. That's weird. Franklin Downs, 30,000. It's almost as much in this area here as there is in all of downtown. I guess there is a lot of high-density stuff there. Industrial area. Still 9,000 people living here somehow. I guess out in the edges. I don't know. Circle City's become a bit of a beast with a lot of just random densely populated areas that aren't part of the core. There's one here, there's one back there, there's a little one over there. I think it looks okay. 
I don't mind it. I almost want to put something in here. So we could run a road right through where this house is. Connect it up to there, maybe? And to there? Why not? Now what kind of structure do I want to put in there? I was thinking medium density row housing, honestly. How much more of this do I need to unlock that last building? About 500 more tiles? This should do it. There we go. There's a lot of space here too that we can make use of. I don't know why buildings... Oh, there's constellation apartments. Buildings show up with a high rent notification. We should probably put in both of these that we've just unlocked. Why don't we put one in there? And then this one, even though this is a row house, this is like a horizontal road house. Or row house, rather. Where it's been twisted. Yeah, big rent problems here. I think that just goes away on its own. Not everybody in the area is complaining about rent. Population is at 150,000 now. I wonder how hard we can push this now that we're at 150. Oh, did you see that issue there? That with the industrial, it's local availability of materials. Now, is that because our production chains are bad? Yeah, and traffic probably messes up the imports. Oh, our oil is low. I wonder if that's because it's been drained. Have we run out of oil where we've built these oil buildings? It's hard to tell because you can't see. Actually, can you see underneath if I turn off this and this? Yeah, I feel like this is... Yeah, this has been drained. What was this? This was blue. This was rock. I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put rock back to the world in this area. You can let me know in the comments if you think that this is a bad decision. But I think having finite resources it just makes it so that your city has a limited lifespan. And I don't like that. I wonder if there is a mod to turn on unlimited resources. Because I think it's sad that they can just run out. So we'll turn that back on. That's probably going to instantly spike some of our production of something. Because look, we're producing zero, but we need 19.4 tons. Oh, that's almost nothing. Oh, these just produce regular rock, so this actually never had anything underneath it. Okay, I've done something silly. <laughs> Let's do something else silly. Let's find some more. Let me find oil. Where have we built oil drills that are no longer drilling anything? Or did we never build oil drills in this city? No, there's one here. It's still working. Honestly, I don't know. There's a lot of things to think about and manage at this scale, and it's starting to get overwhelming. Wow, we've hit the money cap. You cannot have more than $2 billion. I did not know that. That's news to me. Why do we not have more landmarks? And where can we have landmarks? Let me see. That looks like a nice spot, because it is. Oh, I've crashed my game. I guess we'll see when that last auto saved. All right, we're back. It's before I put down those landmarks. That was a strange crash though. I'm gonna try it again. I want this little observation tower. Where do I want this? Out here? Bam, look at that. It was this thing. I tried to place this and it crashed the game. <laughs> Let's try to place a Ferris wheel instead then. Oh, you know what? Never mind. That's a terrible place for it. I built all these roads and I never put anything on them. <laughs> That's, that happens so often. Right, prepare an area for something that doesn't get used. Right there. Alright, you know what? I think I've caused enough trouble to Circle City. At least this is a big circle. That's cool. I think it's time to take a break. Let, let, Cir let Circle City take a break. I can barely even speak. There's been a lot of city skylines too. But hopefully you've enjoyed this. And if you have, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave a like on the video. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think about progress in Circle City. With its population of about 150,000 people, I think it's going quite well. But maybe you think differently. And of course, if you're new here and you haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the bell for notifications. Thank you so much for joining me and hanging out with me while I build this. And create some bigger messes as we go along. But hopefully you've had a good time, and I hope I see you back again next time. Goodbye for now.